<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> the title for today, I'm just going to get into it. The title for today is Body Talk, What We Say Does Matter. After the betrayal by the lady from Canada, my confidence was at a low point. I had trouble believing that I had so overestimated her character and had been so gullible. Feeling those feelings, I needed a vivid demonstration of something. <laughs> I wanted to die. I mentioned this briefly the other day. As I put those words out to the universe, my body responded visibly. Within a couple days, my left foot was very swollen with four toes discolored. It scared me. I prayed and meditated about it and was reminded what I had said, connecting my words with the bodily manifestation. I spoke new words and followed guidance with a walk on the beach, allowing the salt water to draw out the toxins. I also soaked in the tub using Epsom salts with eucalyptus. The unsightly manifestation totally reversed, returning my foot to normal and reminding me how powerful words are and that I can trust my guidance. I remind each of you, what we say does matter. How do you talk to your body? <sighs> Let me start where I started with the blurb. I got another email yesterday from a long-time friend, one of the people that uh, I have known quite well for a, for a good period of time, well over a decade. And she wrote a couple of things. <laughs> one, that she feels that this woman from Canada when I first showed the picture, pictures of her, which I did to many of my friends, uh, well, not a lot, but some of them, um, I showed it in a couple of groups, actually, small groups. In any case, she said she had a bad feeling from the beginning that this woman might not have even been a woman. <laughs> uh, and that this woman was into scamming people. And she, along with several others now, have suggested that I report her to, to the authorities in Canada so that she can be stopped from scamming people out of money. I have resisted believing that because that just makes me feel more gullible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I have resist, resisted getting the authorities involved because truthfully I don't trust the authorities all, all that much. But because of the number of people that have suggested that I need to do something, I am considering uh, Bringing, at least bringing her to the awareness of her of the local authorities. I do know her address. I do know her phone number. I do know her uh, email addresses, two of them. I do know her PayPal account. I do know her website. Uh, I do know her YouTube account. I do know her Facebook name. <laughs> I know a lot about this individual, and I hope she's a woman and not a uh, not a transvestite, as uh, as was suggested to me in yesterday's email. In any case, uh, that friend real said she realizes how devastated I I must feel, and that I'm welcome to come back to the group anytime that I feel I'm ready. And I've withdrawn from some of the groups that I've gone to, and a lot of it has to do with the disappointment and the betrayal of this woman from Canada. So 
that's all I'm going to say today about that. And hope, I'd love to lay the thing to rest. Believe me, I would. But it does keep coming up for me in my thoughts. And uh, it troubles me in my mind uh, over and over again. But as I said in the blurb, I needed a demonstration that I could trust myself again and that that I am a manifester, not just of the negative, but of positive things. But I had to start with manifesting something negative. And as I mentioned when I first mentioned this a couple of days ago, a couple or a few days ago, I sat in the atrium watching the fire and just saying, let me burn up, let, let, me, let me die. Because that honestly was what I was feeling. I, I didn't want to be here anymore. I, I felt absolutely devastated. And I, my confidence, as I said, was at a real low point. And the manifestation was quick. You know, I said within a couple of days, it might have been the next morning. I, I really, things are moving so fast, I, I lose sight of the time sequence of how long thing, how long or how quick things are taking. I mean, it, it just, it just all seems like it's merging together into a single time and everything is happening all at once. Uh, there's just so much going on for me, uh, in my personal life uh, and the you know in dealing with my friends and family and stuff like that anyway it was quick manifestation and my foot was oh my god it was really swollen badly and my the four toes sm four smaller toes were brownish gray I mean it looked awful I mean it looked terrible and I, you know, as I said in that initial mention of this, one of the thoughts was was uh, diabetes. Another thought was gout, uh, because I have friends that have very swollen and discolored feet, and <laughs> it bothered me. It bothered me, but I do what I often do. I've long made it a practice to talk to my body. Often when I'm in the tub or in the shower, I will talk to the organs and to my skin and to my hair and to my muscles and to my bones and to the various systems, the circulatory system, the nervous system, the, the chemical factory of the enzymes that are created for, by all of the, uh, all of the glandular uh, parts of me. And, and I, I just bless, I bless my body. And in this particular case, I thanked my body for the <laughs> quick response to my words to begin the process of taking me out, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, said, no, I'm not finished with my work here yet. And I thanked my body for its faithful service, which I often do. And, and I say my body, I talk about each part of my body giving faithful service. And name the parts and send love there. And of course, uh, I go back to the lady in the subway, uh, the actress who was looking at the listening to the lecture and looking at the pictures from Dr. Emoto on if our body is mostly water and our and what we say to water can have such an effect on the crystalline structure of the water how much of an effect does what we say to our body have to do with it and she went back and she was pasting I remember in the movie what the bleep do we do we know or what the bleep do I know um, pasting I love you all over her body because we many times have a, a, a hate relation, a love-hate relationship with our bodies. And our bodies are the temple of our spirit, of our soul. Of the manifest, they're the manifestation in this world of our 
personality, of our ego, if you will. And our body is important. And we so often downplay it, so often undermine it. And I'm reminding you today, as I'm being reminded, of the importance of our words. What we say affects matter. And specifically, we know that from Dr. Emoto's studies with water that it affects water and our bodies are have a lot of water in them. They're over half water. Uh, and it's the water in my in the ground, the water uh, in my well, the water in my in my house, the water in my body, the water in my car, uh, the water that's used in some appliances, uh, the washing machine and dryer, water heaters. I talk to all of these appliances even, all of these things. I bless the water. I bless the water in the aquifer. I bless the earth that purifies the water and the water that purifies the earth. There's a symbiotic relationship going on. And it goes on not just in the earth and the water and the aquifer. It goes on in my, in my very body. As above, so below. As within, so without. It's all one. This is the thing that the universe is trying to get me to see and remind me. It's all one. You can't disconnect yourself from something because you are currently not thinking very highly of it or not liking it. It's all one. Everything is interconnected. That's the message that the paradox man is trying to to get for myself and trying to share so that others get it as well. Not that I'm trying to sell you a belief system. I'm trying to show you the reality of how life is, that it's an interconnected web of life and we are all interconnected even with one another. I'm even interconnected with that lady from Canada who was, as a video said yesterday, she was she was the lady in that thing and, and uh, another gentleman that she's very fond of was the man. They were the two teachers. And what were they teaching me? They were teaching me what I've been learning to trust me. To trust me. And so I have to trust me in regard to <laughs> in regard to what I'm going to do. Am I going to report this to the authorities? This this lady to the authorities. I have the addresses. People have sent me the addresses of the Canadian authorities that I can report this to, report that this is a person that's, that may be committing fraud on the internet, which there are serious laws about that. And I thought I wasn't going to talk about that anymore, but, but there it came back again. But the talk to my body, the talk to my house, to my car, how many times have I repaired my car with words? I don't even know the number, but I've ever since that one powerful experience where I did a few hundred dollar repair job on my car with laughter, with laughter for God's sake, just by laughing, receiving the messages and laughing. And since then I've talked to my car and thanked it. I, and I go through the car just like I go through my body. I thank the the engine, I thank the, the cooling system, the fuel system, the, I go through the various systems and the various components and I name them. And I do the same thing with my house and I name the systems and the appliances and the things, the walls, the, the materials, because what we say affects matter. Matter responds to us we are creators. That's the message that Spirit is trying to get me, Ron Van Dyke, to see. And if you'll listen, maybe the Spirit is your spirit, your soul, is trying to get you to, to get the same message so that you know just how powerful you are, just how much you influence your own world, your own life. We are powerful beings, and our words matter. That's the message. 
That's the message I'm sharing because it's the message I'm getting. And I hope this means something to some of you. If you're going through a lot of physical difficulties, talk to your body. Let your, let your body talk back to you and listen, listen to find the connection between whatever it is you're experience, experiencing and your words and your thoughts because they are, they always have an influence and maybe just by changing the way that you frame your thoughts and frame your words you can reverse things but you start with thankfulness for what is always start with thankfulness for what is that's important and I I'm glad that I was reminded to remind you about that because what is is what is waking us up thank you for listening I just want to say and I haven't said it for a while that I love you. Namaste.